Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to unveil another series of the DVD songbook lessons, guitar lessons for you. And today, I'm proud to present these two groups. And these two groups are one of my favorite groups, uh, GQ and Radio slash Ray Parker Jr. So you get a total of 25 lessons for $27. That includes shipping and handling. And I'm going to give you the list of the two song groups that are lessons that I'm going to provide. I'm going to go with GQ first. Uh, there are actually 13 GQ songs. And the first one is one of my all-time favorite guitar songs. And it, I guess a lot of people kept asking, when are you going to do this one? When are you going to do this one? Because I kind of hesitate to do GQ stuff because Emmanuel's the guitar player slash lead singer's guitar playing style. Very unique. He he uses a lot of feels in between this stuff. And his guitar playing is more or less feels and a little bit of chord, you know, chord or choral playing. You know, so uh, the first one is GQ Disco Nights. Uh, I did a really good job of tapping this song as far as this is what he's doing on the recordings because uh, he's kind of doing a lot of stuff, you know. But uh, I did a good job as far as tabulating it, breaking it down so it's easy for you guys to play it because it is a pretty cool song to play. Uh, number two is, uh, and I actually threw in a, a few Billy Stewart songs in this list because JQ became famous by doing Billy Stewart's remix, I Do Love You and Sitting in the Park. So I did a version of Sitting in the Park, Billy Stewart's version, which is easier chord-wise to play because, again, the manual plan on that particular uh, remake is a lot of picking and feels, not so much a lot of chords. The third one is Spirits by G GQ. The fourth one is Sitting in the Park bass cover by GQ. Sad Girl, Don't Stop This Feeling bass cover. Love that song. Uh, is It Cool, Someday in Your Life. Number 9, Happy Feelings. Number 10, Lies. Number 11, Make My Dream a Reality. Real cool song to play. Number 12, I Do Love You remake. The GQ remake originally done by Billy Stewart. And number 13, Billy Stewart, Strange Feelings. So there you go. You get 13 GQ slash Billy Stewart songs. Now, here's the radio slash Ray Parker Jr. selection where you get 12 songs. The first one is In the Heat of the Night. It's a really great song. I think Ray Parker Jr. did that one on his solo efforts. Number two, It's Time to Party Now, radio. Number three, Dance, What You're Waiting For. A lot of funky guitar stuff going on in that song, radio. Number four, until the morning comes, which is another uh, radio composition, Ray Parker Jr. slash. Number five, Woman Out of Control, another one of my favorites from Ray Parker Jr. solo efforts. Number six, So Into You, uh, radio slash Ray Parker Jr. Number seven, one of the coolest songs radio have ever done, More Than One Way to Love a Woman. Number eight, Tonight's the Night. Ray, radio composition number nine Ray Parker Jr. solo effort square one number 10 forgive me which is off of Ray Parker Jr. latest album or last album called I think it's called I'm free or something like that uh number 11 which is one of my favorite all-time favorite Christmas songs and it just didn't get a lot of airplay because I think this should have been another one of those classics like uh Donnie Hathaway uh this Christmas uh, it's called Christmas Time is Here by Radio Ray Parker Jr. Number 12, for those who like to groove, it's an instrumental funky tune. We used to play that in the garage when we were getting ready to play and, uh, you know, play out live. I mean, it's one of the real fun tunes to play guitar-wise. Number 13, actually just 12 of those. So you get a total of 25 songs, $27. Normally, my tab and service is like $15 a song, so you get... 25 songs for $27. It's like really it's technically a dollar lesson. The two dollars is for shipping and handling. So I put that in there. It's $27 total. But that's a dollar lesson to learn these songs. I mean, I think the Disco Night song by itself is worth $15 by itself. As far as how much work and effort I put into it to, you know, really kind of break it down and tabulate it really well. So if you're interested, I'm going to leave the listing down here in the comment box gonna leave my paypal information right there so you can send payment once i receive your payment i will send you an email even though uh, i will send you an email even though paypal sends you one too saying that you know you just paid that guy but i send you one saying i got it very next day your dvd will go out be uh i guess 
It's very important before you even purchase anything. Go to your PayPal account and make sure you have these two things in your account. Your email address and your shipping address. Because I'm still waiting for Mr. Mr. Smith because he paid me six days ago. I sent him three emails saying, uh, I need your address because it's not in your PayPal information. You haven't provided it to me. So, waiting on Mr. Smith. Uh, your package is sitting right here on this table as I'm looking, on, looking at it. Been there for four days. I can't ship it out until you contact me and give me that information. So please, before you even send payment, make sure that your PayPal account has your email address in there and your shipping address in there. So I can email you then I can ship out your uh, information or your package because that information is there for me to just go ahead and do that. Really important because I've, I've had a few people that uh, when I went into their PayPal account to send them an email saying I got your payment. DVD go out the next day there's no information so it's like really important really important so again you get 25 songs for 27 dollars the GQ slash Ray Parker Jr. slash radio guitar DVD lessons so it's a great deal great value and these are some great songs I mean I built my guitar chops on two artists almost exclusively Ray Parker Jr. Because a lot of his songs have just a lot of funky chord progressions going on. You can hear them, they're real clear, and you can play along with it. Now Rogers from Sheep, you know, and James Brown stuff, you know. When you practice, you know, uh, with a record, you know, like we used to do back in the day, go upstairs, take our tail up there and practice, and still the software stuff, or I'm going to get a software that's going to isolate this stuff and you can hear it. Don't go that route because that's half assing it. You know, I'm just being honest with you. If you want to be a good player, professional player, just a good player, you got to study the grace and just take your ass upstairs and practice. You know, instead of this, I'm going to get a software to help me cheat and cut corners. By the time you do that, you're gonna, it's going to sound like you a guitar player have cheated and cut corners. So there's no, there's no way of getting around taking your ass upstairs and practicing. You know, that's what my daddy used to tell me all the time. Go up there and practice, you know, because you're going to get there. You know, well, we invested too much money in you and these guitars and all this. You'd be sitting up there not playing, not sounding good. So take your ass up there and practice. And that's exactly what I did. Went up there, closed my bedroom door, put my record on and just start playing along with the record. And keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing until I got better. And you can do the same. I'm actually kind of helping you get your playing level to a, to a higher level quicker and not to be confused with taking shortcuts. You know, uh, I'm kind of giving you the tools to make you a good player in a shorter period of time than it took me and other people. So until next time, take care. And as always, I thank you guys for your support and happy holidays.